Back in 2013, I covered my top 10 brand slogans. But now that some time has passed, I wanted to revisit that topic with a more focused view. The original video really only covered famous slogans from a few industries, rather than from 10 unique industries showing how famous slogans can come from any product or service. In this video, I want to limit each choice to representing a different industry to get some variety from when and what the slogan was advertising, along with seeing how it caught on. Not every choice will represent a brand, but they had to be used for some advertising purposes. The best slogans become such a staple of pop culture that people don't realize the origins were initially used to advertise some brand. I'll be ranking these slogans based on how iconic I think they are, along with their influence on culture and the brand, location, or industry they represented. Since this is a remastered list, I'll be including choices from the original list with new commentary and analysis. And if this is the first you're hearing of me talking about this topic, then there is no need to acknowledge that disclaimer since it's all new to you. So here are the top 10 advertising slogans, remastered. Number 10. Melts in your mouth, not in your hand, from M&M's. Despite the fact this is not explicitly stated in modern M&M's ads, it still is the official slogan, or at least an official slogan. The slogan started in 1954 when Mars Candy wanted M&M's to be known as more than just the candy whose gimmick was colors. This slogan told buyers that problems with melting chocolate bars in your hands were a thing of the past when there's a chocolate option wrapped in a layer of sugar available. In one of the early commercials to boast this slogan, I feel really bad for one of the kids. His mom angrily tells him he can no longer have chocolate simply because it always melts in his hands and he makes a mess. Is he really that bad with managing his chocolate? Would his life have been sans chocolate if M&M's never came onto the scene? Of course the first part of this slogan, melts in your mouth, never fully made sense to me since I never knew anyone who held M&M's in their mouth long enough where they would actually melt. They would just chew them and swallow them like any other food. However, I'm sure someone out there will prove me wrong on that. Number 9. Think Different for Apple One of the biggest parts of improving technology, or really business in general, is finding something innovative. While this slogan is just two simple words to make a phrase, it defines what most in the technology industry try to do in order to stay relevant. Looking at an innovation we all love that showed up many years after this phrase was first coined that very much fits this slogan is the smartphone, Apple's iPhone. Apple thought differently and now, or more a few years after the first smartphone, companies that made other types of cell phones are either extinct or joining the party. Remember Research in Motion? Blackberry? Come on, they still exist. The funny thing is, even though I credit Apple for thinking differently and bringing this innovation to us, Android is actually the most popular smartphone who followed, going by sales numbers that is. Make of that what you want. So you know what Apple, Microsoft, let's just all be friends. And now insert a music clip of why can't we be friends. Number 8. Good Till the Last Drop with Maxwell House When's the last time you thought of Maxwell House Coffee by name? If it was recently, then you have more brand loyalty than I do. I just know it as the default home coffee brand. But if anything, Good Till the Last Drop is a slogan I see referenced without any mention of its roots with Maxwell House. It is the oldest slogan on this list. Even if you're just talking about some different drink you just finished that you enjoyed every sip of, you could be unknowingly quoting this slogan, or you could literally just think it was good until that last drop. This slogan is pretty broad. And when they say till the last drop, does that mean once the drinker gets to that last drop, it's no longer good? Huh, I enjoyed a majority of this drink, but once I tasted that last drop, that final drop, it just tasted like sweat socks. Number seven, the breakfast of champions with Wheaties. It was hard to choose just one cereal slogan to put on this list. I mean, how many do we know off the top of our heads? Tricks are for kids, they're magically delicious, they're great! I mean, how could I put a slogan ahead of they're great? Well, Breakfast of Champions for Wheaties seems to be a slogan that exists without the help of a mascot, 
while still having the sticking power of those other famous slogans. Instead, the slogan is fortified by the athlete that is put on the front of the box who can generally be considered a champion. So by the slogan's logic, that person must eat Wheaties. When your slogan declares your cereal as the best, not by taste but by those who deserve to eat it, that's setting some standards, or making yourself sound really arrogant. Also, I like when people use this slogan to ironically describe the breakfasts that aren't filled with the nutrients of Wheaties, like, insert this greasy yet delicious option here. Number 6. I love New York for the state of New York. While some of these slogans are for brands, this list is about advertising slogans, so why not go with one of the most famous ones for a location, and this slogan has basically become its own brand. It's like naming your product I can't believe it's not butter and making that its slogan too. In 1977, New York was trying to drive more tourism to the state. So with the help of an advertising agency, they created a brand name, a logo, and a slogan all at once. I love New York. While you don't hear people saying I love New York as a turn of phrase, the I love blank with love being replaced with a heart has become a staple in advertising. Even outside the US, the I heart insert location here is so popular and simple to translate over, it's easy to see how it caught on. When you think about it, the heart in I Love New York may have been the most famous use of an emoticon, way before emoticons even existed. It could have been the founder of using a heart in text form to represent love. I highly doubt they came up with it first, but they're probably the most famous. Number 5. I can't believe I ate the whole thing for Alka-Seltzer. Here's a slogan that outlasted its actual relevancy. I mean, it's still used today in some cases, but Alka-Seltzer doesn't seem to acknowledge it outside of the occasional throwback scenario. This slogan gets thrown out a lot without references to its actual origin. Alka-Seltzer had a commercial in the 70s where someone regretted eating all of something that gave him heartburn, saying this slogan in sort of a daze. It probably caught on because everybody at one point in their life has likely thought this after eating something that was so good that they really should have put it down before they actually finished it. Also shoutouts to the slogan that's a spicy meatball that Alka-Seltzer also created. Alka-Seltzer seems to be the king of creating slogans that people remember more than the actual product. I mean the product is pretty well known, but in terms of brand names that come to mind right away, Alka-Seltzer likely isn't too high on the list unless someone just ate some bad chili. Or some good chili for that matter. Number 4. Just do it for Nike. It may be one of the most vague broad slogans out there, but I could not leave it off this list. Even if you do not inherently say this slogan, you cannot go anywhere without seeing it. Nike puts it on everything along with its famous swoosh logo. I'm sure there are plenty of places you could go without Nike advertisements being shoved in your face, but still, it's incredibly famous. While it may be hard to hear Just Do It without thinking about Shia LaBeouf's ramblings, the slogan seems like it's supposed to represent competition and the success of doing whatever you need to win. Or it's Nike saying, do it, buy our products. Number 3. A diamond is forever with De Beers jewelry. Wait, is it De Beers or De Bears? I'll pronounce it De Beers. I used to think a diamond is forever was just a famous saying that had its origins with some historical figure, or maybe that James Bond movie. However, no, it was advertising a diamond company, with the slogan starting all the way back in 1947. So far, De Beers has shown us that not only is a diamond forever, but apparently this slogan is too. De Beers proudly displays it below its logo or any of its products or advertisements. Now all De Beers has to do is bring back its 90s style advertisements with the shadow silhouette people exchanging jewelry really dramatically. I'm strangely nostalgic for those. Number 2. Where's the beef for Wendy's? Wendy's made this slogan in 1984, which put them on the map for fast food burgers. The person uttering this famous phrase in the ads was Clara Peller. You remember Clara Peller from the, the Wendy's commercials and any cameo appearances based off her Wendy's fame? Peller became famous at 80 years old. She was never an actress before these ads and was hired to work on a commercial as a manicurist for the actors, since that was her profession. 
She was discovered because she had a unique voice that was just right for saying the punchline to an advertisement. Where's the beef simply means what it sounds like. Where is all the beef on the burgers from other fast food vendors? While we can't attribute all of Wendy's success in 1985 to the campaign being in full swing with Peller at the wheel, their sales did increase by 31% that year. It was such a memorable line said in such a unique fashion, it was tattooed in the memory of anyone who heard it. When Peller took a commercial role with Prego Pasta Sauce, Wendy's cut her, which cut the campaign, and ultimately cut its sales. This was a prime example of a company that lived and died by its slogan. The fast food chain was able to recover, but the slogan was so famous it followed the chain for decades after it was retired. Wendy's keeps on bringing the slogan back, as recently as 2016, knowing it does not hurt to reference what helped make you famous. Number 1. This was one of the most successful advertising campaigns in history. Not just improving the sales of a company, but of an entire industry. And all by asking a single question. Got milk? This phrase was everywhere in the 90s and 2000s and was always accompanied by some great ads. What made this phrase so memorable were the ads. The slogan was said after someone was in a situation where they wanted or needed milk. It sounds like a standard setup in a commercial for the product becoming the hero in the end, but these commercials were incredibly creative. The most famous one, or maybe just because it was the first one, was about a guy who just put a peanut butter sandwich in his mouth right when a trivia contest calls him on his main subject, Alexander Hamilton. He runs out of time since he's too muffled to understand and can't wash down the peanut butter sandwich fast with some milk. The setup for the Got Milk scenario was different nearly every time too, making the ads more entertaining. These ads caused gut milk to catch on and ultimately made people drink more milk. Why? I can't entirely say, but when your slogan is a question, it can act as a reminder. Got milk? Oh yeah, we were running low on milk. There was also times when people joked around with got insert item here to parody the slogan because that's a funny running gag and I guess that shows that your slogan has become a staple of pop culture. It also helps when you have celebrities on your side advertising your product with your slogan. And if the celebrities don't get your attention, what about all these fictional characters saying got milk? Why does Wolverine need milk? His bones are made of adamantium. Is milk powerful enough to make adamantium stronger? Gotta drink that milk. So there you have it. Got milk is my top advertising slogan. What do you think? Agree? Disagree? What is your favorite brand or advertising slogan? Let me know! If you enjoyed this video, besides the standard like, comment, subscribe, I have some other videos on the history of advertising, so check those out if you'd like. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next video.